Right, next we're checking out Cube the Director's Cut. Now, this is one of the games that I was actually looking forward to playing. Um, just because of the style of game that it looked. I mean, the first person puzzlers, I do enjoy playing. I've played a couple of them and with this one being free, I kind of thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. It might even be one that I kind of stream or do a playthrough of, not too sure, but let's see what it's actually like. And what if it didn't kill I mean, him? sometimes games that I do like with all due respect, end up being terrible. your best guess is still just a guess. We need to have faith in the possibility of good. But let's see what this looks like. Wait, hold on. His oxygen consumption's going up. I think he's alive. He's conscious. Hey, go steady down there. You've been out for a couple weeks. Fifteen days, in fact. So yeah, I mean, it looks like a kind of like, es not escape room as such, but the way that I kind of saw it, it, it made it me think of like a maze where, I don't know, I, I kind of know what I'm expecting, but at the same time, I don't. Like, it's dead simple looking. If you're feeling confused or disoriented, you should know that deep space travel can do you pretty serious ah. psychological damage. Especially to your Well, I think the good thing when these you are quite the simple, there, the graphics don't look too bad on it. But I think that's simply because there isn't much detail in it. Mission controller concerned, you might have no Where do we need to go? Like, this is the kind of bit that I saw where it's just not even like a maze You're because a I think there's only one way that you can go through. Very long way. But every single person on the planet is depending on you. That thing you're inside right now, oh. whatever it is, is going to hit Earth in the next few hours. And if it does, that's the end of All Right, where do we need to go? You need to decipher and dismantle it. I mean, so if we stay in air, would we get crushed as Oh, oh, it stops. Like, I don't even know if it's just kind of like a story game. I just kind of like the way that it looked when I saw a bit of gameplay on it. Right, what do our buttons do? Right, we can jump. Just move around. Right, when we press R1, we get these little things. Well, R1 and R2 look like they do the same thing. Like, I hope it picks up. Like, at the moment, I'm kind of I'm just waiting for it to start being cool. Alright, this is it. What's going to happen? Anything or nothing. Like, if it turns out to be an awful game, I'll be so disappointed. Right, where are we going? Oh, black doors now. Is this, like, level two, then? I mean, like, I don't know if there's any way to kind of fail. I don't know whether it's just kind of something that you have to find your way through. Like, um, I, a lot of people have seen, I kind of don't just pay, play PlayStation. I play Xbox, Steam, Nintendo, uh, mobile games, everything. And it kind of reminds me of a space game that we're on there. I can't remember what it was. Oh, The Turning Test. Right, so where does it want us to go? Why, I'm presuming because this is red. But nothing's happening. Right, do we need to go back on ourselves? Alright, that's weird. The L3 button does the same thing as the X button. So they both jump and most of your like L1, R1, all your other, well, all your trigger buttons, to be fair, kind of seem to do the same thing. Alright. And now what? Ah. So you kind of lower it from there. And bring it up to there. Right, I get it. Right, so it looks like one button pushes and one button pulls. I mean, it's not too bad. This is why I kind of like just jumping into them in this way. Because there isn't a tutorial and you can kind of just kind of see for yourself how easy it is to get into. 
Like, what now? Right, is there another button to press? Like, because obviously we can't just jump up there. I mean, the one thing I am terrible for is getting stuck on these games. Right, so pressing that one's done that. But we can't get it up any further. And by the looks of it, there isn't anything else down here. Right, I don't know if you can grab stuff. Right, let's have a look. Help. Right, so move. Left hand, right hand, pause, jump, look. Right, okay, okay. Like, the one thing that does do my head in, if I get stuck, I'll end up turning it off. Right, so that's push that down. There isn't anything else here we can interact with. Like, we can pull those out. We can reach pretty far as well. Right. So, how do we get up there, then? Like, is there a secret block that we pull out? Like, this is the kind of game that I would cheat my way through and just watch a YouTube videos of somebody else playing it. Just because I tend to get stuck a lot. I miss dead obvious things on these kind of games. And I mean, like, now... Well, I weren't expecting that. Ah, right, okay, okay. So is, have we got another one? Yes, we have. Right, so press that down. Press that down. There we go. Right, that one looks a bit of a far one, though. I don't know if we're going to make that. Ah, right, okay. See, this it definitely is a style of game that I do enjoy when it comes on PlayStation Plus, just because it's completely different. But at the same time, it's really fun to play. Like, you get so used to the 2D side-scrollers and that sort of thing. And when you get something like this that's still an indie game and it's still the same price, that I don't understand why we don't get this stuff more often. So it's like different colours seem to do different things. And if I can actually jump in a straight line, like, because it's in space, it does feel a little bit floaty. Right. Um. Ah, oh, there we go. So Right, so the yellow ones, if you do the bottom, it makes the top longer if you do it the other way around. So yeah, I put a video on the channel the other day of the kind of game that I'd like to be on PlayStation Plus and what I'd expect to be on there. And this kind of, it kind of shows what I mean. It's a pretty decent game and it's the sort of thing that a lot of people would miss out on. So opening different ones makes them a different size. Okay. See, you guys, if you wanted to see more gameplay on this, it is the kind of one that I'd be happy to kind of do a stream on. Like, even though it's not like a majorly exciting game, it is still pretty fun to play. Oh, we missed it. Like, I'm not going to play it for too long though. Like I say, I do kind of just like doing the first 10 minutes or so, first impressions. And kind of see whether I think it's worth downloading. This one, the graphics of it are pretty good. The gameplay for it is also pretty good, which does make a change. Um, is it worth downloading? I'd say definitely. It's, it's one of them games I'd say don't miss out on it. Get it while it's free. Where does it want us to go, though? Maybe like that. I don't know. Let's try it. So that's a bouncy one. Up and over. Oh, there we go. Didn't even see this bit. But we missed it. Uh. 
Like, you can't sprint, though. And the button that I'm used to being, sprint on a game, is jump, which makes it just a bit more annoying. So I'll push that down. Jump up. But before anyone asks, is when are the games available to play? They are all available to play right now. So if you haven't checked the store yet, go download them. Right, so now we're locked in. Right. Right, so that needs to be the other way. Let's see, is this... R ah, okay. I'm presuming that's where we need to kind of try and go. No, right. So, I think what we need to do, probably push this in... Uh, push the top one in, pull the bottom one out. There we go. Um, and then we should be able to pull this over. But you can't jump up two. There you go. But I've got, to, I've got to say, I am actually quite enjoying this game. I, I didn't think I would have enjoyed it as much as I am. It was one of the ones that we're more looking forward to playing. But it's the one that I am really... I, I am actually going to play it for a little bit after doing the video. Um, but I'll probably do a different save. So when I stream, I can possibly either start again or just carry on from where I've left off. But I'm going to end this one there. Uh, that is Cube Director's Cut. It's definitely worth downloading. It's a really fun game. Go download it. Go play it because it is awesome. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a like would be awesome and I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It would be absolutely awesome if you did. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.